chance of you reconsidering our offer. Huh? That's no offer and you know it. You must think we're children. I thought I was being very fair. Your idea of fair and ours are miles apart. Goodbye, Dirk. Another challenge for the Green Hornet, his aide Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. Good afternoon. I'm Britt Reed, publisher of the Daily Sentinel and owner of this television station. I use this unusual way of reaching you, my fellow citizens, because an action must be taken by all of us. Earlier today, two men were killed in gangland fashion on the outskirts of our city. According to information gathered by Mike Axford of our reporting staff, they were connected with a vicious bootlegging racket reminiscent of the Roaring Twenties that has been plaguing our city. Those two men are gone, but others, the probable murderers, are already taking their place. They must be stopped. He's got to be stopped. And how do you propose to do that? Invite him out for a drive? But he must be reached. I agree. So, we'll arrange an exotic end for Mr. Reed. One that will leave us free of suspicion and licensed to continue a very profitable enterprise. Why don't you ease off on this ring of bootleggers, huh? We'll break them up, but we need time, that's all. Mm. You have any leads? Oh, I'm still buckshotting. 
So far, they haven't made a single mistake. The bar managers just follow instructions, that's all. They never meet any of the organization. They're just told to pick up a shipment at a certain place, and that's all they do. Where could they be distilling so much without detection? Yeah, well, why do you think I can't sleep, huh? Must be a number of small stills spread out through the city. Could be one big still. No, where would they conceal anything so big? If they're programmed like you say, they could have the answer to anything. Cato? What are you gonna do? The Green Hornet's going out on the town. Gun. Check. Hornet sting. Check. Let's roll, Cato. Drink. Right. Uh, the specialty of the house. Just as smooth as velvet. Huh, be, be my guest. Where do you get your supply? You believe everything you hear on TV. <laughs> Where do you get your supply? Look, you want me to get my head chopped off? I can protect you from them but they can't protect you from me. <laughs> Some choice. Your supply? Well, they call me. How do they know when you need a shipment? Well, they don't. I have to pick up and pay for the deliveries. When is your next pickup? Well, I, uh, they don't tell. When? Tomorrow. Where? D d different places. What time do they call and tell you? It's three o'clock. Don't try anything brave, friend. Don't worry. I'm a, I'm a born coward. giving much milk today. We're operating at full capacity. Oh, excellent. You may just earn yourself a bonus come Christmas, Carney. Well, I see it's time for our customers to pick up their usual consignments. We'll make the calls. Assign pickup locations and uh, don't forget to put out the usual security. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Right. 
I'll be there. Brannigan. Where and when? The Cornet. You lost much? Aye. The pickup is at the Royal Woods tonight at nine. You better not be pulling anything. But I told you, don't worry. I don't want any problems. <laughs> Check the scanner. Check. Activate the scanner. No wonder the police can't find out how the gang is transporting the stuff. They're using milk trucks. Leaving. Return the scanner and follow the truck. can afford to give so much to charities. This place is loaded with electronic bugs. We could jam the transmitters. No, that would tell them we were here. Yes, Miss Case? Mr. Reed, a call just came in, anonymous. What about? The voice said for the Sentinel to kill the bootleg story, bury the expose, or else. Or else what? Or else Mike. They have Mike Axford. I'm sorry to have called you away from wherever you were, gentlemen, but uh, this is an emergency. Why the big rush? Why couldn't you have told us over the telephone? Is it about that reporter, Mike Axford? No. No, we're still holding him. Well? Two words. Green Hornet. What does he want? Well, we'll know when he gets here. And how did he come to you? Well, why don't you ask him that, Hal? And do you suppose he would have told me? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. The police after him, his own kind out to get him. That puts us right in the middle. Still, I... I suggest we don't play games with this fellow. He knows something. <laughs> Calm, gentlemen. No need for panic. Sit down. I'll be very brief and to the point. I've been studying your operation, and I like it. You have a well-run, highly profitable organization, 
And I can see its potential for the future. Meaning what? Meaning the time has come for you to admit a new partner into your ranks. Me. Oh, I'll be a silent partner, I assure you. And I won't be that greedy either. Five percent of the gross operation, shall we say, each week. What are you selling? How would Britt Reed, editor of the Daily Sentinel, do for an opener? You must have the touch of a Don Quixote in you, Hornet. I don't tilt at windmills, my friend. You agree to accept my offer, and I'll put Reed into your hands. Delivery guarantee. After that, he's all yours. I don't even care what you do with him. How do you expect to accomplish this? Let's have some secrets from each other, shall we? Well, it looks as though we've bought ourselves a new partner. Is tomorrow too soon? Deliver him here. No, not this place again. Besides, I enjoy taking a ride in the country. The fresh air? You'll be dropped off in front of our dairy tomorrow night. Well, how about you and us? There's time for that. You'll hear from me, partners. But, Red, I can send a battalion of police over there and just clean it out. And what chance do you think Mike will have? Yeah, Mike. What makes you think they're going to let you penetrate their defenses? Simple. I'm a partner. Delivering something. I'm going to deliver something they don't expect. Isn't there some other way you can do this? Mike's neck is out, Kato. We've got to save it. Just follow the plan and stick to the timetable. Welcome, Mr. Reed. I must apologize for this unorthodox way of getting you here. You won't get away with this. Oh, yes, I will. The Green Hornet will be blamed for your disappearance. And your paper will drop us off the front page when the police start a new crusade to catch the Green Hornet. might be more friendly of me to have your man wait for your arrival so that you can keep each other company. You're going to kill me with kindness. Well, that's one method I haven't tried yet, Mr. Reed. Sorry, boss. You're tough luck, Mike. I was planning on giving you a raise. Get a rope. Tie him up. <laughs> Everybody take positions. We'll do a little blasting ourselves. Lock the door. Okay. I'm bulletproofed in this car, Dirk. Put down your guns and come out in the open. I've changed the numbers on our deal, Dirk. I want the percentage up to 25, with a down payment of 10,000 cash. Now, or else I'll blast this place apart. Boss? That you, boss? Sorry, Mike. I want you cooled off for this one. No stalling, Dirk. Ten minutes. The money is in the safe. Let's show him who he's double-crossing. Now, Cato, I've set the bomb. They have us locked inside here. Use a rocket on the back door. Check.
move, Kato. Cut the smoke now, Cato. Let's give Scanlon a call. Tell him it's time to move in. Too bad Mike had to miss the fireworks. Let's get him back to town before he wakes up. In addition. Good. This is what we've been waiting for. Thanks, Joanne. That's quite a story. I wish I'd been there to see it. You gotta give him credit for helping the police. <laughs> well, it was just an accident that uh, he was on our side this time. Who knows what he'll do next time? That's right. But the important thing is a vicious racket's been broken. Records found at the dairy make it open and shut. Yeah, I guess so. But I'll tell you one thing. I'd like to get the guy that clobbered me. By the way, when we were facing our final moment of truth, you said you were gonna give me a raise. I did? Well, that's funny. I don't remember saying anything like that. I could have sworn you said it. When you get back to your desk, call accounting. Tell them to add another 15% to Mike's check each week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 